You know, NBA players express themselves in, in so many ways on and off the court. Some wear flashy clothes, others get tattoos, and a lot of players get crazy haircuts. There have been hundreds of notable player hairstyles over the years, and tonight we comb through decades of them to bring you the all-time most egregious do's that should have been don'ts. And here they are, the six worst haircuts in NBA history. At number six, Pelicans free agent Alfred Payton. <laughs> Got several haircuts and instructed them to fight each other to the death. That lands Alfred at number six on our list. At number five, former Cleveland Cavalier Anderson Varejao. Somebody tried an Ogilvy home perm. That is, he looks like Antonio Banderas's mother. <laughs> Coming in at number four, Serbian power forward Vladimir Radmanovic, <laughs> AKA the 14 year old white girl who goes to Jamaica on spring break <laughs> and gets braids. This is why Vladimir is known as the Serbian Coolio. <laughs> at number three on our list, None other than Andre Miller. I call this the, wait, there's a game today? Look how proud he is of it. It's like a toddler showing his mother what he did with the scissors. In the number two position, former Clippers center Chris Kamen. No one who played for the Clippers has ever been more in need of a Clipper. His favorite food is paint. And finally, the award for worst haircut goes to former Lakers center Andrew Bynum. <laughs> Andrews, sadly, Andrew's barber died halfway through the braids and was unable to complete the job. But congratulations, Andrew. Those are the six worst NBA haircuts. Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, click the subscribe button. And if you didn't like it, well, you hurt my feelings. <laughs>